good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Dima, white folks music. So guys, there is a story going out right now that NBA Hall of Famer Scottie Pippen, at the height of his career, was approached by a young kid to take a photo. And uh, it was not a photo, it was an autograph. And this is common with many NBA athletes. Sometimes they're in the mood, sometimes they're not. So Pippen was like, you know, telling this little kid to, to F off and stuff, right? Um, and so the kid's feeling was hurt. You know, Pippen declined him. Uh, but that kid grew up and started rapping. And that kid eventually became Future. God damn. And Future uh, never got over the fact that Pippen curved him. And so when he got a chance to sleep with Larsa Pippen, he took it uh, to get some form of revenge. All right. And a according to um, ASAP Rocky, this was a story that Future told him and that's hitting the blogs right now. But I mean, I just really want to know, like, if that's really true. Right. Because think about it. If you're a guy and let's say you met, you know, Michael Jordan in the 80s and as a five year old kid or a 10 year old kid, he actually um autographed your baseball card or your, your 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 basketball card. And then his wife, you have an opportunity to sleep with her um 20 years later. Are you gonna be like, sad music? Oh boo, I can't mess with you. Michael Jordan signed my rookie card, man. I would just be foul. No, no, that's that's not gonna happen. Okay. The re the, the real thing is that this is not karma for that. More or less, it's karma for Scotty Pippen dealing with a chick that just didn't care about him. All right? All guys go through this stuff. It doesn't matter how much money you make or how little money you make. We all choose women, choose chicks, okay? That don't really like us or their attraction drops, right? They will like us for one minute and then for whatever reason, as things go bad, it drops. They're turned off. They don't want you anymore. Then they go screw the next guy. And then they don't want him anymore. Okay? It didn't matter if it was future. It would have been somebody else. And that's the situation. A lot of times people change. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay? People change, guys. We actually do a very terrible job. I'll just be real. We do a very terrible job of picking people who we are compatible with. I've done it, have done it within the last three to four years, trying to make something work that obviously will not work and it will work for a long time, but you and that person are not compatible. That's what it is, right? Doesn't matter if you have a lot of money and hardworking and you're a really great guy and she knows that you're a really great guy and you're really hardworking and you care about her. It's just not compatible. She don't like you. She fell out of liking you. It doesn't make her a bad person. Are you a bad person? You just leave and go and screw other people and go on with your life. Maybe one day it comes back around the corner that you somehow find out you like each other again. It might be the case. Usually it's not the case, but it could be the case. In the case of Larsa Pippen, she is a clout chaser. All right. She was trying to use any of these rappers to become the next Kim Kardashian. So if it wasn't future she was screwing, it would have been me. That's <laughs> out the show. Y'all mad too, huh? It would have been me. It would have been any other guy who was willing to take her on on that, on that ride just so she can clout chase you to the top and get fans and get brand deals. Why? She saw that Kim Kardashian did it. And future has been a real hot rapper. Notice it had to be a hot rapper. It wasn't somebody on the bus stop was it it was somebody she can get some publicity she will do anything for the publicity guys that's it that's all and we got to understand that everything is about compatibility and mate selection a lot of guys get this construed misconstrued especially guys who are in something as volatile as um entertainment or athletics when you're in athletics you have a um a time limit on your career more or less, more, more so than let's say you're an engineer, you're a doctor, you're an attorney. Those careers are more fruitful, right? Because you have 
it, it depends on intellect. Now, now, um, you know, athletic sports and stuff like that, that definitely depends on intellects and skills and things like that for sure. But your body can only hold up for so long. Okay. A lot of these guys don't think about how is the relationship going to happen after sports? So when you're on the road and you your wife's taking care of your kids and stuff like that, and you're not at the house, but then when you get out of that sports thing and now you're at home, you, you've never been at home before. So now you're adjusting to something very new. And so now the dynamics of the relationship change. You're no longer the guy as high value as you were when you were in sports because you led with the fact that you were an athlete. Now you're not an athlete anymore and you're a mortal and you don't have the money or the clout or the fame. So then what is the, the lady's reason for sticking with you? Then that's when the rubber meets the road. But then if you have a wife who also craves that same attention, you know, she wants that whole kind of, you know, self-worship and, you know, especially if her friends are doing good, it doesn't matter. So this is not karma. If anything, it's karma for meeting the wrong woman, meeting the woman that you felt that was just very beautiful, but that woman didn't really contribute to your life. And I think that as guys, we got to really look at what ladies are going to contribute to our lives. Does it have to be a financial contribution? No, not all the time. Okay. Does it have to be in the bedroom? It would be nice for sure, but it's not necessary, right? All the time. A woman has to be able to contribute to the, to, to our life for something that's longstanding. Can we get along? Are we going to fight? Are we going to continue to have problems? Are we going to continue to have barriers? Those things. If those things are going to happen or not going to happen, then those things seriously need to be addressed. And that is, and, and, and a lot of times guys don't look at that. Guys are not looking at, you know, for the long term, are we compatible? Is this somebody who's going to like me after? It's kind of hard to see. So when she doesn't and you've paid all the bills for her, you've done all these nice things. And then when she goes and messes with future for free, it's like, damn. And this is just after him taking her back or right after. So this is the problem here. It's not that the fact that, you know, Future wanted to get back at Scotty, so he slept with his wife. No, Scotty picked the wrong woman before he even saw Future. And then as a result of that, this is what happened to him. Ultimately incompatible. She's going around and wrecked other relationships after that. So it's not just her doing it, or Future. It's her also. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first company to top. And as you know, the buffoon remains the all-time high. I'm out.